I tell you what's tough is you've got more humanitarian crisis than any time period I know in my lifetime that we're trying to dynamically address the issues of war and conflict and climate change all around the world. And then you compound that now with the coronavirus where like our headquarters is in Rome. And so it is really almost shutting down our operations, but we're the emergency operation. We are there for emergencies for people around the world. So we're having to dynamically shift ourselves to make sure that we can continue to do what we need to do, moving products, moving ships and airplanes and feeding. We assist about 85 to 90 million people on any given day. You can't stop doing that. 25,000 people die per day now from hunger. And if we shut down because of coronavirus, oh my gosh. So how do we use technology? How do we do it in such a way that we keep our ships going, our airplanes and our supply chains operational to keep people alive? We can't let this coronavirus stop our operations because millions of people's lives are at stake. One of the things that we're doing now, for example, in Rome and around the world, is we're asking people, be careful, be smart, use common sense, work from home. And we're setting up the systems to maximize the technology to communicate back and forth, whether it's headquarters in Rome or wherever it may be in the world. And that's working pretty good. Uh, which is impacting the carbon footprint as well. That's a sort of a you know one-off type of thing. But uh, it's our teams. The World Food Program is known to be very flexible and nimble and fluid to do what it takes. And we're not going to let the coronavirus stop our operations. Not a chance. We'll get it done one way or the other.